Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you three gambits. Good one, bad one and the ugly one. We will start with a good one. Queen's gambit. Queen's gambit is the most popular and the most sound gambit of them all. D4, D5, C4. Pawn takes pawn. Queen's gambit accepted. Why to move? Why can play many different moves in this position, like knight to c3, knight to f3, e4, and e3. I picked e3 for our example of a queen's gambit accepted. Bishop is attacking the pawn. b5 defending. a4 c6 pawn takes pawn on b5 c takes on b5 white to move and to play a winning move can you see a winning move for white queen to f3 attacking the rook well black can save the rook but this is not very good and the white is winning. Do you think of Queen's Gambit? So, this is the good one. And I'm going to show you a bad one now. It is called Halloween Gambit. This is a game between Frank Detlev and Beckers Marcus. This game is from a Blitz tournament played in Canarias in 2004. Detlev had white pieces and he started with e4. Marcus played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6 and white to move. Perhaps bishop to c4 comes to mind. Do you agree? Detlev played knight takes on e5. Halloween gambit. What else but to take? Knight takes on e5 d4 attacking the knight knight to c6 knight to g6 is a popular alternative move knight to c6 and now e5 d5 is played even more often we have e5 attacking the knight and where is the knight going knight goes back bishop to c4 d5 giving some material back to speed up development Bishop takes on d5, bishop to b4, pinning the knight. Queen to f3, threatening checkmate. Queen to e7, defending. Queen to d7 would be a better move. Queen to e7 was played. Bishop takes on c6. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes on c6, check. Queen to d7, queen takes rook. Knight to e7, and both players castled kingside. Knight to e4, bishop to a6, attacking the rook, discovered attack on the queen. Queen takes on a7, bishop takes rook. King takes bishop, queen to b5, check. King to g1, queen to e2, threatening check, mate, on e1. Bishop to e3, knight to f5, queen takes pawn on c7. Knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, queen takes pawn check. Knight to f2, queen takes on d4, white to move and to play the obvious. c3, forking two pieces, bishop takes pawn, pawn takes bishop, perhaps queen takes bishop is even better. b takes on c3, queen to e3, king to f1 h6 just in case rook to e1 attacking the queen queen to d2 knight to e4 perhaps queen to c4 is not a bad move and also a4 we have knight to e4 queen to f4 check why to move both players have very little time on the clock knight to f2 King to g1 would be a better move. Knight to f2, rook to a8, 
white to move. If I was white and my opponent had only a couple of seconds on the clock, I would play queen to b8, just to annoy him. Check. That look played e6, allowing queen takes queen, but his opponent in the c. He played f takes on e6, and then queen takes queen, and black resigned. Interesting opening, interesting gambit. Allowing gambit worked well in this blitz game. And if you win with that gambit, is it really that bad? Hmm? What do you think of this gambit? And now, one more. The ugly one. Vea Gambit. This is a game between Magnus Carlsen and Timur Rajabov, played in the World Blitz Championship in 2012. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with the A4. Vea opening. E5. And now, original Vea opening goes like this. A5, D5, E3, F5, A6. But after E5, Carlsen played E4. And then the game continued like this. Knight to f6, knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, bishop to b4, bishop to b5, both players castle king's side, d6, d3, bishop to g4, knight to e2, a6, bishop takes on c6, b takes on c6. It is about equal. And we will stop here. White went on to win. But this is not because of the opening, is it? Well, what we can say about this opening? It's a bad move. But later, Carlsen played good moves. Probably his opponent was upset because he felt he should punish Carlsen for playing opening like this. How about you? Do you always play round openings? What do you think of these three gambits? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.